Hi, and welcome to another show and tell. My name is Miss Stephanie, and I'm from the Tower Road Library. Today, I'm going to show you some puppets I own that came from Indonesia. But before I do, let me tell you a little bit about the country. Indonesia is an archipelago located in Southeast Asia, just above Australia. Archipelago means that it's a grouping of islands. We have an archipelago in the United States, Hawaii. Hawaii is made up of seven islands, which sounds like a lot, and it is, but it is nothing compared to Indonesia. Indonesia is an archipelago made up of 17,000, thousand, five hundred islands. Most of them probably aren't very big, and a little under half of them are uninhabited, which means that people do not live there. Some of the bigger islands have names that you may have heard before, uh, Java, Bali, Sumatra, Borneo. In addition to having a large number of islands, Indonesia also has a lot of volcanoes. There are over 100 active volcanoes. So an active volcano are ones that have erupted in the last 10,000 years and are expected to erupt again. Indonesia also has hundreds hundreds more that are considered extinct, which means it has been more than 10,000 years since the last eruption, and they do not expect it to erupt again. The most famous volcano in Indonesia is Krakatoa, or Krakatau. It erupted in 1883 and is one of the most deadly eruptions in modern history. Because of how expansive the country is and where it is situated, Indonesia has a lot of diversity in their plants and animals including several species that are endemic. Endemic means that something is native to a particular country. It can only be found there. Some endemic animals in Indonesia include the Javanese peacock, the Sumatran drongo, as well as the babarusa and the tamarau. In fact, Indonesia's national motto is unity and diversity, though I imagine that extends to people as well as plants and animals. So, my nana, my grandma, visited Indonesia about 20 years ago, and she brought back these puppets as a souvenir. Uh, she had to move to Virginia uh, a few years ago, and she couldn't take a lot of her stuff with her. Uh, and I had always admired these, um, these puppets. So when it came time uh, for her to get rid of some of her stuff, I decided that I wanted these, and I took them home, and they've been decorations for me. Uh, these puppets are called Wayang Golek. Uh, Wayang means puppet, and Golek means rod. And if you look underneath here, you can see that there is this long wooden rod, uh, which the puppeteer holds on to while they are um, doing performances and moving, moving the arms around with the puppet. Uh, performances with these puppets take place during special events like weddings or religious ceremonies, and they last hours. Uh, the puppet master is called the Delong, and he can direct a troop of up to 30 people, uh, which can be other puppeteers, people who are doing um, background, or uh, musicians who are doing the soundtrack. There are five types of characters in these shows. There is the refined, uh, which is this one. Uh, they have paler faces, and the eyes are usually looking down. And of course, when it says refined, they've got the fancy clothes, big headdresses, um, a lot of decoration, beading sequins, uh, you know, the gold thread here. And then there is the semi-refined, which is the other one I have. And it's still, there's still uh, some fancy fanciness to it. Um, there's a lot of detail on the headdress there, uh, but the characters do not have a pale face and the eyes look straightforward and they also have very straightforward direct personalities as well. Uh, there are strong characters whose faces are normally blue or pink and they have bulging eyes. Uh, and then there are the emotionally uncontrolled who usually have red or dark colored faces and they have bulging eyes as well and fangs and they're obviously normally the bad guys. Um, and for those four categories, uh, generally the characters move the same way, um, they talk the same way. Uh, so if you're in one of those categories, the, all those characters in that category move and talk in the same way. Then there's the fifth category. And the fifth category is for special characters that don't fit into any of those other four categories. Um, and with those characters, they all have different ways of moving, they all have different ways of talking, um, and so they're just they're lumped together because they're they they don't fit in anywhere else. 
Um, if you'd like to read more about Indonesia or about making your own puppets, uh, there is a blog on our website with some books in our collection. I also linked some information about these specific puppets as well as the Center for Puppetry Arts. Our e-sources like Gale and Context Elementary have great information as well. If you'd like to show and tell us about something you have that reminds you of a friend or relative, we are at Alachua Library on Instagram and Twitter and Alachua County Library District on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe you learned something new and I'll see you next time.